Today we will be talking and starting our unit on function. So function is a rule. That's all you really have to know is that a function is a rule. And it takes input and output, kind of like a rule machine. So let's draw a machine. I'm just going to make my machine right here. It's going to be a box. Okay. It is a machine. It's going to take numbers in and it is going to spit some numbers out. Okay. So what we put in is called the input. We put in input. And then what we get out of it is called the output. Okay. So say we put in the number four and we get out the number seven. Okay. Our rule, my machine, might be we take whatever goes in and we are going to add three. Now the thing about a function is that we have to spit out the same number every time for this number. So say I had I did say I didn't know what my rule was. Say I put four in and I got seven out and then I put four in and I got 12 out. That's not a function because the rule is not clear. It's going to give you two different outputs. So a function is a rule that takes an input, a number that goes in, and gives me exactly one output. So we can look at a function with tables. So I drew a, a t-chart right here. So I have one column x and one column y. The x is my input and my y is my output. So when I put the number 1 in, I'm going to get a 3 out. 2, I get a 6. 3 gives me 9. 4 gives me 12. And 5 gives me 15. Now this is a function because I have numbers that I'm putting in, numbers I'm getting out, and when I put the number in, I'm only getting one answer. I'm not saying, well, for 4, I get 12 and 13. I'm just getting one number. Now we can figure out what the rule of this function is. So I can, I can try to look at a correlation. It looks like whatever I put in, my x value, I am getting out, I am taking that value and multiplying it by 3. So my y depends on what my x is, okay? So the x is what is called the independent variable, the independent. I can independently select whatever number I want, but my y depends on what I select. So the y is called the dependent variable. It depends what I pick for x for what my y is. Now I'm going to write my rule. So y is equal to whatever I choose for x, and I multiply it by 3. y equals 3x. My y is independent. I choose, I'm sorry, my x is independent. I choose my x, and then my y depends on what I pick. So 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 3 is 9. You can see how that rule works. Let's look at another chart. X and Y. I have my input, my output. Let's look carefully at it. When I do 1, I get 4. 2, I get 5. 3, I get 8. 4, I get 8. 5, I get 3. Is this a function? Yes. Because every time I put in a number, I get exactly one output. Now, yeah, these two are the same. That's okay. You can have the same output. Now, what would happen if I said for 5, I put it in again, and I got a 7? This would not 
be a function because sometimes I put five in and I get three. Sometimes I put five in and I get seven. So this would now not be a function. So I can't write a rule for that. Just can't do that. So we are going to work with functions. We're going to identify input, output, try to figure out rules, identify dependent and independent variables.